Right, welcome back everybody. Today we've got this little self-drive 16 inch petrol Honda Izzy and it's coming for a service. I do uh, do this mower maybe every other year for a service. It doesn't do a lot of work. As you can see, it's a very good deck on this one. This one's um, a 2006, so wearing really well for a Honda Izzy because these do always rot along here and under here. As you can see, it's starting to develop a bit of surface rust there, which is a common place for them to go on these mowers. So I might just advise the, the lady to stick a bit of treatment on there. I don't like just going around painting a bit of rust treatment on because you don't know if the, the customer's gonna like that. So don't go ahead and just presume you're doing a good thing because they might not want it doing so. I'll just uh, advise her on that one. So what we're gonna be doing is just a basic service. We'll be taking the plug out, we'll be changing that. We're changing the air filter. We're not gonna take the carb off because this mower runs perfectly fine. Starts first pull, we'll change the oil and um, she's just asked if we can change the pull cord on it as well. So we're gonna be doing that in this little video. So this is just a little how to I do it and uh, let's get started. Right then, so this ain't going to be a very long video because it's pretty straightforward this. I've just noticed that it's starting to bubble up there as well, so it could be on the stage where it's starting to turn now and develop a few problems. So as you can see, not a lot of crap in there. The air filter does look uh, relatively well actually, there's not a lot of uh, dust in between there and fins. There's a bit there, but nothing to write home about. i say this was probably done... In fact, this was probably done about three years ago, this one, because we had all that uh, pandemic and uh, didn't see it for a couple of years. So it's probably been about three years since this last had a service. So, just to get that out of there. And that, well, that, I say that would go again, but as we're doing a service, I like to put the new parts in. So, as you can see, we've got a brand new one there. And that would just sit in there like that. A bit of crap there, and uh, that just hooks on the bottom like a hinge. Pop that in, click that home, and that is the actual air filter done there. So that's the first part done. Right, the old wind's picking up a bit here. So again, I say we'll check the state of this oil. I say it's been in here for a good three years, and uh, we'll see if it's used any oil or what sort of condition the oil's in. So first of all, we'll give that a, a wipe. Just dunk that in. And that is still bang on point, that. So that's uh, excellent. It doesn't even look like it's done any work since the last service. Look at that. So I've got to get the um, oil drainer and then we'll drain that out. But that's... Uh, I'm really happy with that. It hasn't even been used any oil. Fantastic. So we'll just put that back in there for the minute. <coughs> we uh, use the suction pump to get the oil out. We don't bother tipping mowers up and all that. And also I'd just like to uh, just give the mower a bit of a clean up before you give it back. Get all this old uh, chopped grass off. Give it a brush down. It just shows uh, the customer that you looked after that machine. So this will get a bit of a, a clean down after. So we'll take this spark plug out. And again, I don't even think this will probably want changing, but as she's uh, requested a service, that all comes in part of the service. Look at that plug, it still looks new. That plug is perfectly fine. This mower starts first pull, so I won't bin that. I'll keep that as a, a spares for one of the ones we get in that we um, service up ourselves to sort of one of our own ones I can use that in. So I will keep that. So I'm just going to replace it. So I'll stick that on there, just protect that, and I'll put that back in our spares department. So these already pre-gapped these plugs, so we don't need to mess about with that. All right, so I say it's really, really simple doing these mowers. I say if it wasn't running correctly or anything like that, we would have took the carburetor off, but I don't do that just in a basic service. Right, so we're just on the biting point of that. So we're trying to give that a little nip, 
just to crush that crush washer and that's that fully done so what we've got left to do is I've got to change the oil out still um, I'm not going to put that plug on yet because we're going to take a look underneath change not uh, we'll sharpen that blade up and we're going to whip this top off and we'll get this pull cord changed as well so let me just get my socket so you just got your three bolts here just crack them loose I'm just going to undo this little uh, bolt up here that holds the pull cord up just so we can release the pull cord So we'll just take that out there for a minute. Put that nut back on there so we don't lose that. <coughs> now these are undone. Just take them top cap bolts off. Nuts rather. So to take that up, we'll go over to the workbench now. So starters, I'm just going to pull this cable all the way out. Right, so that's there. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, get a screwdriver and drop that through just to stop that springing back round. And then what you want to do, see it's starting to fray up a bit there, so it will it will go eventually. But we're just going to uh, try and prevent that <coughs> from happening. So we'll just take that out of there. Push our old cable up, pull that through, and I've actually just been in the log cabin, and we're nicking a bit of a uh, soppy's pull cord here. So all you in the comments, you can say if it's not the Brett it's the pull cord he's taken. So we'll just measure up from end. Just pull that down. There we go. So. We got that there and we're going to just leave a little bit extra on just to uh, allow for some when we're tying the knots off so <coughs> and this is the 3.5 mil pull cord we're using here so we'll just uh, wrap the old stuff up get that out of the way and you might want to get yourself a lighter. I haven't got one in here, so we'll just uh, try and go with it at the minute. What we'll do is we'll put that through there, because that's the good end. We'll try and get away without doing this with a lighter. So we're just putting, not in this top end here, now we've got that cable on. And I'd just like to give that a bit of a, a tug. Just cut that access bit off and that will be <coughs> in there like that we'll just stick this back on through there lovely jubbly and now because that's all lined up where we left it hopefully we can uh, push that through it was I don't know if we're going to get that through to be fair because of that ends a bit frayed. Let me just see if I can work that in there. I say you just should really use a lighter just to burn that and harden that end off and then that'll go straight in. Right guys, I think I'm going to have to go and burn the end of that. It's giving me bloody aggro trying to push that threaded bit through. So bear with me, let me just go and burn that off and I'll be back with you. Right guys, I'm back now, as you can see, that's made a nice solid tip on that. So I'm hoping now we should pretty much get straight through. There we go. See, straight through once you've burnt the end off. So, just tie that end off now. There we go. Just get hold of that. Give that a lovely tug there, so we can pull that back in there, just sit that in, in there lovely like that, we can let go of that screwdriver, make sure you're holding the bit, and then just let that wind in, and we know it should be fine because we measured the length of the cord, so 
there we go that goes in pretty much all the way but we're going to leave a bit out because we're going to connect that back up to the handlebars right well that's out of the way just give that a quick uh, wipe around there so we can sit that back on now make sure it sits on its little collars get your three uh, nuts wind them down <coughs> ratchet them back down again you ain't got to go too mad just until they bite there we go get your uh, pull pulled up so just take that off before we try and pull that out so hold your brake lever in so you can pull the cord there we go lovely And just whiz that up. There we go. Again, just nip it up. Don't go too crazy. So that's a lovely new pull cord on there now. We've got the HT lead still off. We're going to lay the mower back. We'll take it back here. Right, so you can see it's really clean under this deck. So. It's a 14 mil. So it's got the old impact gun. That's one there. And there's two, so. Always just remember which way your uh, blade come off. So the has fins on it, see? So they want to be facing up in the deck. So I'm just going to take this in the, poly, in the log cabin now. Just put a nice little edge on this. I won't show you that because people sharpen their blades in their own way. There are various ways. You can do it on a flappy disc. You can do it on a, a grinder, a belt sander. They even do little uh, stones for your handheld drill that you can just run along it. So I'm just going to go in the, poly, in the log cabin now. Just uh, sharpen this up and I'll come back out and I'll be with you. Right then, everyone. So that's that had a nice edge put on it. So once you do do your sharpening, always make sure you do balance your blade after. So you can either have a little balancing pyramid that you can sit on where it balances or get yourself a screwdriver. And what you do is you get your screwdriver and you just balance it on there and you should get like a pivot point and it should sit flush. And you should have a nice straight edge. Obviously you're not going to get a good reading off your finger, but stick your screwdriver through and just let it balance and it should sit nice and straight. You don't want to see it on an angle like that because that means you've got too much uh, meat taken off of one side. So you need to balance it out just so you get your blade sitting lovely and straight all the way across. Anyway, so remember which way your blade went up. Just start your, your bolt off. We'll get that one on. We'll start that one off. Then just uh, wind them back in. Take them up. Then give it a <clears throat> and that's the blade underneath done now so that's the mower fully serviced now i did drain the oil out while i was uh, sharpening the blade so i've put sae 30 in here so that's uh all lovely jubbly and what we use is just one of these see you can see the oil just down there and uh, we just fill it up when we get so far we put it in a big container and then we take it down to our local recycle site so that is basically the service on this lawnmower completed and uh, what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to give it a bit of a clean up we'll get all this dead uh, we'll get all these grass clippings off and uh, i'll bring you back and we'll take it outside for a start up i say it should these honda are fantastic they're easy to pull nice to start and they normally go first pull so let me just clean it up and we'll go outside and give it a test right then folks so we've come outside now we'll just give this a, a pull uh, this did use to start first pull so hopefully it's still going to remain doing that
Right then folks, so I'm going to call that a wrap on this uh, little 16 inch Honda Izzy self-drive. I say it's a basic service on this. We're not stripping the carburetor down, as you can see, it's running, it's doing as it should, so no need to mess about with that. Uh, that little service is basically the same for all these Honda engines. And uh, yeah, it's a little short video, this one. So I'm going to leave it here. But if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Ring that little bell for notifications. And until next time, we'll see you about.